All right, we're going to do a short walk around of our uh, big lathe that we bought on Craigslist. It was sold as is because it had some issues. So it looks like this thing tipped over. I'm not sure if it was into a wall or all the way down onto a floor. Uh, if it had tipped all the way over, being 6,000 pounds, I think there would have been more damage than we found, but uh, it's hard to tell. Um, so we'll start here uh, with the carriage, the apron, um, the saddle. This casting here has uh, a couple of cracks on top of the uh, dovetail. Uh, it actually raised the dovetail up about uh, oh, 150 thousandths, I guess and uh, there's a big crack in it that we're going to have to uh, braise up. Uh, a bunch of switches are broken in the rapid traverse. This has a rapid traverse um, uh, on both axes. Um, hand wheels broken off. Um, this is a new one that the guy had sitting there that fits, which is good, but the, uh, the one for the cross slide is broken. we got to replace that. So, um, Moving on, uh, the feed box area, the casting on the front here um, was broken and we'll show you that in a second. It's got a bunch of cracks in it. We got to braise it up, took it all apart. Uh, we got to press it back into shape and then braise it up. And uh, let's see, a uh, bunch of sheet metal on the end here, some more switches broken. We got to bang some sheet metal back into place. And uh, then we'll take you over here and show you the feed box casting. And this is the worst damage here. The, uh, the feed box casting, um, the, uh, all these dogs and everything. One of them was broken, the rest are okay, but the casting is pretty beat up. And uh, so we gotta press all this back into shape, braise it together, and uh, put everything back together. Um, but that's it. It really wasn't too bad, so uh, we're thinking we can probably get away here with uh, having to order minimum parts from, from China. Uh, that's the end.